it is almost morning wood. Let's make it morning wood. Come on. Oh. Morning Don't mom. wood. Okay. Hurry, hurry. Why? I'm, I'm gonna, in need of coffee. I'm pour mine first because of that. No, I'm gonna pour mine last so I can be hot. Ooh, look at that. Look at that deliciousness. Drink up, everybody. There's our keto. Ooh, I didn't get as much. I'm gonna have to dip into our backup. Oh. That was the front up. This is the backup. Okay. A little shaky wakey. Our keto coffee. This is probably gonna. Hi, everybody. Okay. <laughs> all that, all that fat is trying to escape. You uh, should go, and I should. So the cameras get yeah, but then if I were <laughs> coordinated, maybe tomorrow, maybe we get a little better. This is the first day of doing everything in containers, and so a nice hot cup of Joe. Cup of Joe. Cheers to you, my friend. Cheers to you all. Cheers to our collective. Woo, hot. Yeah, yummy. No, hey, huh? Just mocha? No. I'm gonna surprise you with the mocha. Oh, <laughs> trying to do different flavors. This is good. It's good. It's, it's good. It's it's got a little too much sweet again. I, yeah. I thought, you know, I, you know how you said do half. I may have done double. <laughs> I might have mixed okay. that whole thing up. It happens. We talked about this. We I always get I always get double and half mixed up, right? So, so here we are. Another <sighs> jubilant morning. Yeah. It'll. Well, it's supposed to clear up by noon. We're looking for the July sky. It's a. It's supposed to be a high of 69 today. In honor. Yay! Of you. It was 69 yesterday too. And it's Juneteenth. 69. Is it Juneteenth? Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Which is the. Uh, it's the anniversary of the emancipation. It's the end of slavery. I don't know if it's if that. Look it up in your history. Is there a difference books. between end of slavery and emancipation? I don't know. But anyway, would, would it be considered? But you had yeah, constipation this morning. Bad. Well, Hawaii, Which is should, totally different from emancipation. We, we, you keep talking. <laughs> You've got to free up your shit, not hold it. <laughs> I still have Dark Ages on my phone, by the way. <laughs> we looked up Dark Ages today because we were wondering if we were getting close to that with yeah. what's going on right now. Yeah, we're, we're welcoming the new Dark Age. But, uh, but we got Welcome a long to way to go. Welcome to the Dark Age. Welcome to the you Dark Age. You know, that was an age. entire millennium. The Dark Ages was an entire, a thousand years. That's a long time. It's a long time. To be good, to be dark. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, so we're going to say... What will they call our times? Juneteenth. What? What are you going to call our times? Well, right our, now. Right, the best the of best, times. Yeah, well, that's true. We have nothing It to was a very about. good year. No, 2020 probably is We not had our friend over last night Frank for dinner. Frank's singing about 2020. We, we used our new grill. Oh my like gosh, this, this isn't anything like what we thought. I'm so sorry. My sincere apologizing. My sincere apologizing. Yeah. <laughs> Speak good English, I. Uh, Juneteenth is a Texas state holiday celebrated annually on the 19th of June throughout the uh, Commemorating Union Army General Gordon Granger announcing federal orders in the city of Galveston, Texas, proclaiming that all slaves in Texas were now free. Huh? Oh, okay. So, just, so we should make a field trip to Texas. I don't know enough of that. Yeah, not really. But anyway, yeah. well, either way. Yeah, so it's food. Friday. We we, uh, we celebrate all uh, freedom of uh, any day, uh, any state, uh, any color. Anyway, by the way, breaking yes. news was two days ago when we broke the news about Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Mrs. Jemima. Aunt Jemima. <laughs> What was the, what was? Oh, it? is that the part they changed? Was there it was a... the incest part. The, we can't call her Aunt Jemima. It's now Ms. Jemima. <laughs> no, that's okay. You kind of you're kind of uh, spoiler alert here. What? Now apparently Mrs. Butterworth is going to be changed to Ms. Butterworth. No, wait, really? <laughs> I don't know how serious oh that God. is. I don't think it was a joke. But you know, the Me Too folks have been kind of pushed aside by BLM, so they're like, oh, wait a minute. BLM. We've got to get um, our little come up this year. So. It makes a little bit of sense. Back, you know, there was a time when Ms. Was well, it's a, a big feminist deal. thing. Yeah, right, right. Um, exactly. I still, eat, I don't know. Do I, I like, I like Ms. I think, uh, or I like Ms. I think it was a nice. I use Ms. a lot. And then for a long time, I didn't have a period after it, and then it did. I got confused. Really, there was a period involved. Well, doesn't it depend whether they've gone through menopause or not? Man I said menopause. <laughs> <laughs> That's how. <laughs> Or and totally it's our show flows. Devoted to our show, I've completely changed the menopause. 
anyway. Well, you know, men's lives matter. Ooh, that would get you canceled on a lot of uh, networks. Thank God we're is not that, part is of that one. Is that not woke? <laughs> That's not woke, no. You are not allowed to say anything lives matter, but the only. I, saw, I heard that. Ricky Gervais, the comedian, used the word woke on the show. It may be a I believe it's Gervais. You, of all people, Mr. Juan, does not say Gervais. <laughs> 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 okay, I'm sorry. I interrupted you. Go ahead. What did, what did Ricky Gervais... I'm watching the second season of The Afterlife, which is it, it really... It's a good show. Interesting, quirky characters. Ooh, book, book, but I don't know how book, he can book, afford... Book plug opportunity. He can to live in a flat being a reporter for a free giveaway newspaper. And You're losing me because I don't know after who and how it's named. Netflix. It's a Netflix, Netflix show. So yeah. it's a TV show? Yes. The like series. A, a yeah. series? Yeah. 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 He Second. is the producer He's or is he writer and director. Is he in it? Mm-hmm. So he did, wow. Yeah. He's actually, he's really good. He's a, no, he's very a good actor. Guy. And I, good yeah, actor. Yeah, he's been doing some things lately which we kind of given a little elbow to his own industry, self-defecating. <laughs> self-defecating. <laughs> Deprecating. He's shitting on his own industry. Yeah, kind of, and, and I appreciate well, it. Well, if you self-defecate, what does that mean? You shit on yourself. Oh, okay. you, you can take a shit. That's simple enough. This is really good coffee. It's too sweet for you, huh? Just a little bit. I, I Well, the original didn't have any sugar at all. The original Bulletproof Recipe does not have... Well, mm. I shouldn't say sugar, sweetness. Yes. And so I'm, I, I'm a, a bit of a purist. He's a bit of a purist. <laughs> well, he's a purist only. in the end. Yes. that only. <laughs> so you were saying more about this. Uh, oh, anyways, you just used the word woke. At one oh, okay. Point. <laughs> it's, you know, that word tickles me. Yeah, it tickles. Um, Are we woke? I don't like to be tickled. Are we not woke? I hope I'm Semi-woke? not. Semi-woke? I don't want to be. You know, there's a, there's a, I was looking at the sea of bars out in Sprouts where I got the dang bar yesterday. Yeah. Oh, there's, yeah, yeah. There's a woke bar. Really? There is a woke bar. I'm imagining that it probably started before this whole woke thing because I don't think they would have gone there. But no, I'm not a fan of woke or cancel or any of those words that just start pinning people against each other. You know? Well, <laughs> yeah, you and I... I like that. Watch yesterday's episode. Oh, yeah. gosh. Was it yesterday's when we... Almost went into fisticuffs. No, was it yesterday? Two days ago. I can't tell anyone. I know, in the day of internet, our shows are, are posted so quickly, I can't keep up with them. I can't either, especially when I'm on it. But I did think, you know, last summer we had a blowout, and we became closer as a result of. So, Well, think, you did. I think we did. <laughs> are you still our, I'm you, still on the fence. I'm still trying to get you close. Is that why you always push yourself away yeah, from yeah. down there? So I think we need to have blowouts every once in a while because that is what which gets you closer to one another. Yes, it's in like a forest fire. platonic heterosexual relationships yeah. with your bromance and with your mate. I think it's good. You, it's dear, always, can you pour me some more coffee? It is, <laughs> it is always uh, darkest before the dawn, as they say, right? So that we should, so we should be having a really great dawn. By the end of the year, hopefully. I hope her name is Dawn. That would be uh, uh, Dawn's one fate. of those. Dawn's one of those fate. names. You think they've got to be hot? We have these list of names that we used to. Well, when we used to Uber, we would. We would <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hot or not? We, we would, would go ahead. You'd go. see the name of the person before you went to pick them up, and so uh, we would say, "Okay, this one's got to be hot." Right. With a name we, like we Brittany or something. Or you know, I like, text him and say, "You know, <laughs> yeah, Brittany, hot or not? Autumn, hot or not? <laughs> Guaranteed <laughs> hot." In fact, at that point, it was like. Not only hot or not, stripper or not. <laughs> and then they get in the car and then would realize, well, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> really? She's 90? And you, I mean, back in the early 20th century, they were naming babies, you know, Bambi. <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> <laughs> ah. um, I, I do miss that. That was fun. You know, the anticipation of who was going to get in the car with you was a female. Well, especially around certain areas like Chapman University. Oh, yes. Shout out to my favorite hot uh, women of Southern California. They should do a calendar. You really ought to think about that. Oh, Chapman girls. Oh, yes. But Chapman they, Mrs. But they couldn't do a naked calendar, could they? Well, unless it was... No, no, no. You know, it's okay. If it was benefiting God in some way. Well, they're, yeah. they're non-denominational out there, right? So I thought they were benefit Christian. all oh, really? gods. All gods? No, okay. I'm, they're Christian, so I guess right. Excuse me, I'm going to... Wipe my nose on air. There's only one cute. guy with Christians. That was very uncouth. Monotheism. I know. No, you're right. I, 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 they, they, they would, you're right. right. So, but Catholics have got, you have... No, back to the naked calendar. Oh, thing. okay, yeah, no. We are not talking about this. I think sometimes less is more. 
I think it needs to be a sexy. I don't know if the naked calendars work as much as the ones that where you're wondering what is underneath it. Like the Sports Illustrated issues were awesome because you wanted to peek under the bikini. Yeah, but you never got to see. I mean, I like to have them clothed in a video, but I know at some point I'm going to see those titties. Well, then they should have had like one of those pins where if you turn the magazine a certain way, the bikini drops off. Oh yeah, and then those you had cool. to have subscription. Remember those pens to prove you were over eighteen, in which the magazine would work for you because you wouldn't want the kids to be seen, of like me not. at twelve years old in my basement, looking at old Sports Illustrated magazines. The Sports. Oh god, I was always. Did you ever knock the... one out to Sports Illustrated? No, god no, no. I was what? always. It was always the, the Cheryl the Teague Playboy. I think uh, she was Penthouse. the first. Uh... She was not my cup of tea. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, you know. For a guy who likes his coffee too sweet, and tea in general, sorry I'm not a tea fan, not your cup, but sometimes I wonder about you and your Just sometimes. choices in women. Really? Cheryl, Cheryl Teague's? Teague's not hot? I mean, not for me. Didn't do anything. No, I, I was right. not, right. a, no, I'm not, I was not right. a, a, a model you, type. For me, we are I was never people. a model. I never liked models. You like models. I always, and you like that, like, like that severe, like, everybody's a model. You know, we're like photo taken of you huh huh what what she, the hell did you say everyone's a model to take a photo of you, <laughs> you can, i mean <laughs> the that, model really is that? such an ubiquitous term so you don't like any how any... about supermodel is that better well do they still well, she, the combs yeah they still she do, was I, she was considered a supermodel I, I always think those are the ones that are kind of the high fashion runway type i think it's just meant she was really popular and famous or really skinny and, and you know in demand and had an eating disorder that's well, that's that. I think we have to describe all models. <laughs> so you don't. So you you're going there to say you don't like model types. No, I don't like the way they make them look. Oh, you know that really a little bit severe too, look. A little too sterile for a little too. Very sterile. Very sterile. You like? I don't like sterile. You like where we live. You like the unnatural, gritty. Yeah. I, well, I, I, I will take both. Because well, good. So you'll be getting luckier from than me. the gritty. Come the dirty. We haven't christened our pussy fellas yet. I tried Sunday, I couldn't do it. What do you mean with somebody else? Yeah, <laughs> so I've christened it plenty of time. No, my, I've christened it, like, yeah, no, not the solo venture. You haven't? I thought you... I, I, I had a gallon bed, there. but it didn't go uh, all the way. That's not christening. No, not that's christening. the pre-christening. Yeah. All right, well, when we no. do, you'll be the first to know. <laughs> well, hopefully we'll be the first <laughs> to know. <laughs> they probably know before And then I'll knock on your door and say, well, hey, guess what, HD? Was that a christening? <laughs> So yeah, that's uh, that's our our show for today, but, and it's a long one. It's okay. It's but okay. I, well, I, I, you know, hopefully no, you can okay. sit through it. I'm okay. That I, it'll come. Oh, that part, the christening. Yeah, the christening will come. Yeah. Here's to christening. If we live here, we will come. Evening wood. Midday wood. Whatever. Whenever we can have it. Bye.